uh, today I'm going to be making a video on the top things to take with you on your ski or snowboarding holiday. As you might know, um, I am a Winter Olympian. I have been competing on the World Cup uh, freestyle skiing tour for eight years now. So I definitely know what is essential to pack if you're off on a trip. Um, so I hope you enjoy my top tips and advice. Um, and if you like it, um, leave me a comment below. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need is a ski jacket. Um, so you want it to be waterproof and windproof. If it's snowing, if it's raining, obviously you wanna be protected from those elements. So the jacket that I use is a North Face um, puffy uh, sort of goose down feather um, jacket and I, and I love it. It keeps me really warm and it's also got like a protective um, wind and it's waterproof too. And it has got the powder cuff at the bottom um, that means you can clip all the way around to stop any snow from going up um, your back if, if you fall over. <laughs> Next, um, you gotta have ski pants. You don't wanna be skiing in jeans or sweatpants or um, tracksuit bottoms um, because you, they're gonna get soaked um, and it's just, they're not gonna keep you very warm at all. So yeah, you definitely need windproof and waterproof ski pants. Uh, the ones that I use are these, um, they're actually snowboard pants, so you could also use snowboarding pants for the same thing. Um, so I like a bit of a baggier fit. So these are bonfire um, snowboarding pants, um, nice and baggy, and I roll up at the bottom there so that I don't step on them when I've got my ski boots on. The base layers, you ladies definitely start with uh, a sports bra, so start with a sweaty betty one um, it's really good support then you want to have something like a long sleeve um, sort of base layer like this one this is quite thin um, and I like it it's merino um, wool so it's really really comfy really soft and cozy this one's sweaty betty too um, so it's really really comfortable and I love the long sleeves on it too sometimes I wear um, a base layer that's got a bit of a roll neck to it um, this one's an Under Armour one it keeps me uh, nice and warm around the neck so it's, if it's windy it's a bit colder outside and I wear this one on top of that I would wear a Under Armour I call it a waffle I'm not sure of the true name of it um, it's also cold uh, cold gear um, and this keeps me really, really warm. It's, it's slightly thicker um, and it's got this waffle material that acts as a thermal layer to trap in that um, body heat and to keep you nice and toasty on the mountain. On the bottom as a base layer, I wear just uh, like three quarter length. Um, they could be um, capris that you have uh, just in general. These are 2XU ones, so they're actually compression. Um, so I like to wear those, um, but they don't have to be these at all. Um, just something it could be. You could find a thermal pair. Um, you don't want any. You don't want a cold bum on the chairlift. <laughs> so now you should be all set for base layers, a nice warm jacket, nice warm ski pants. Um, you could take a slightly lighter jacket, maybe um, like a thinner, windproof, waterproof uh, jacket. Um, but that's completely up to you and what you might already have or what you wanted to buy. Um, so next you need um, ski socks. I use these, they're smart wool. These are my favourite ski socks. I like nice thin ones. Um, you don't want anything too thick because um, you want to be able to feel your ski boot. Um, it's important to have that contact straight to your ski boot and then directly onto your, your skis. Um, so nice thin ski socks are what I use. Um, don't think that the thicker the sock, the warmer your foot's gonna be, because it's not like that at all. And actually, if you have a thick sock that's making your ski boot too tight, um, then there's not gonna be much circulation to your feet and it's actually gonna be colder. So definitely a nice thin ski sock. Another essential is a neck warmer. Um, this is just a little buff and it's, I love it because it's fleecy at the bottom and um, so it keeps me nice and warm, sort of more material bit on the top which goes right all the way over my face if I want um, and it's my favourite colour too, it's blue. <laughs> um, but really recommend these, they make a big difference, they keep you much warmer. It's amazing the difference that this could make um, in keeping you warmer and keeping you out skiing for longer. Definitely wear a helmet. Um, this is mine. I, it's a shred helmet. Um, I wear it with this little um, sort of. It's actually called a skull cap. Um, so it's a little, really, really, really thin hat that um, is by Red. Um, and so this goes goes on first. It's not the the most attractive. Um, but then then I pop my helmet on the top. Um, pull a few bits of hair through and uh, buckle it up and um, so it's nice and tight this this helmet by shred 
um, has actually got um, like an adjustment at the back so you can make it tighter or looser fitting to your head. So I really like that about this helmet. But always wear a helmet. Along with your helmet, you're gonna need goggles. It's really important to protect your eyes um, if it is sunny outside and you're not wearing either sunglasses or goggles. Um, the sun reflects off the snow and you can actually get something called snow blindness, which is really, really painful. So you need to invest in a pair of goggles. You wear these goggles in uh, sunny conditions so that it's darker, it's a darker lens. Um, if it's quite flat light and there's, uh, there's a lot of clouds out, you want a bit of a lighter lens like this one. Could be any goggles that you like, these are just the ones that fit well with my helmet and that I find comfortable. Um, this is a much lighter lens. <laughs> now with this uh, goggle, you don't have to buy, it, buy the two frames or more than two frames. Um, you could just get one frame and get a pair of goggles that has interchangeable lenses. So you can, in this pair, you can pull out the lenses um, and you can change what lenses go in. So that might help um, if you're worried about price and, and what you're actually going to buy. You can buy different lenses instead of all the different frames. You're going to need um, a pair of gloves. Um, so I recommend using um, leather gloves, but you, as long as they're waterproof, I don't recommend like the fleece ones because if you're a beginner or new to it and you're falling over quite a lot and your hands are getting in the snow, they're going to get soaked and then you're just going to get cold. These I love because they're really warm and it, they've got a lot of freedom in them as well. So these are actually Hestra um, gloves. I take a hat, so you don't want to show everybody your lovely helmet hair. <laughs> I recommend taking a hat. This is my hat that I usually take. Um, got a nice little pom pom on the side. Um, it's a rip curl hat. Um, and. I usually take two hats. If you've been skiing a few times, you know, you're loving the sport, you're definitely something you're going to do um, year on year out, you might want to invest in a pair of ski boots. So these are the ski boots that I use. They're full tilts, um, very bright. <laughs> um, but they're, these are more of a freestyle boot. They're really comfortable. Ski boots don't have to be uncomfortable. If you're more of an intermediate to expert level skier, you might want to invest in a proper liner. So the liner that I have in these boots um, is actually completely molded to my feet um, so they're really comfortable, they're much warmer um, and obviously they, they fit my feet perfectly um, so that's really performance uh, enhanced as well um, you might be wondering what this is, again if you are more of an intermediate to expert skier you might want to invest in a pair of um, toe warmers um, so they're actually, the cable runs all the way down my liner underneath the base of my toes here and I actually have a little battery pack which attaches to this part um, but it would plug in, I haven't got the battery but um, right here to show you but they would plug in there and, and keep your feet warm which is really nice um, if it's something that you're, you know, it's worth investing in if skiing is something that you're going to be doing a lot of. You can of course always rent boots, don't forget sun, sun cream, um, lip balm, um, some sunglasses, a water bottle, energy bar, definitely always have some snacks and nibbles in your pocket to keep you going. You may also want to take some tissues and maybe um, some paracetamol or ibuprofen in case you fall over or maybe um, it's a bit chilly and windy you might have a bit of a headache and sometimes people at altitude get headaches as well because they're not used to it. Um, so you need to make sure you drink lots of water um, and stay hydrated. So I think that's everything. Um, I hope you have an awesome holiday wherever you're off to and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Let me know where you're off to uh, in the comments below. Stay tuned and look out for more videos. Thanks for watching.